Welcome back to another video everyone. So today I thought I'd do something a bit different, different for this channel at least. I've done plenty of Q&As on my main channel, but I wanted to do a Crash Bandicoot related one for this channel. Now I got way more questions than I expected, like a couple hundred more than I expected. So I won't be able to get to a wall in this video, but maybe I'll do another one at some point in the future. But yeah, let's get straight into it. Who are your favorite Crash villains based on design or personality? I would probably have to go with Ripperoo or Dingo Dial. I love Ripperoo's character character design and I love his insane laugh. As for Dingo Dial, his designs for the most part are just badass. I mean he walks around with a massive gas tank and flamethrower. I love his dialogue, his Australian accent. Yeah I'd, I'd have to go with one of these two. If you could have any Crash game remade or remastered which would it be? It would be between Crash Twin Sanity or Crash Tag Team Racing but I'm gonna pick Tag Team Racing. There's a lot of things I love about Tag Team Racing. I think the platforming half of it is great. Something about exploring a theme park in the Crash universe always excited me and it still does. There's a ton of different things to do with the mini games, tier challenges, hidden shortcuts, chicken challenges. That's just the platforming side of things. The racing, while I'm not a big fan of the driving in this game, it feels very stiff, especially after playing Nitro Fuels for, what, nearly a year now. Which in my opinion, Nitro Fuels driving is perfect. The drifting, the boosting, U-turning, hopping. It all feels so clean and precise. You can really go wherever you want to go. If they remade Tag Team, I think they should use Nitro Fuels driving style. It will make it so much better. I don't know if it's possible or not, but I can dream. I can just imagine myself driving through the these tracks with blue fire, you turning around spirals, and of course the main difference with the racing will be the fact that you can team up with each other. One of your guns, the other drives. There's endless possibilities for online stuff that they can do with that. You have the battle arena mode where you just go around fucking shooting everyone, and that'd be a perfect online mode. There could be a regular racing mode like in Nitro Fueled where maybe there's no teaming up or anything like that, it's just driving through the tracks. There could be a tag team mode where you get paired in twos and you can't disconnect from this person, but you can both switch positions with each other while racing and maybe there's a mode where like you can just fucking team up with anyone you want you know if you get near to them and you press the button to team up and they want to do it as well you can team up you can drive solo you can do whatever you want mate you've just got me hyped up for a game that's probably never gonna exist obviously they'd have to change up the team up mechanic to make it feel fair and fun but they could do this there's so many other modes that they could do with this this is just like a this is just a few ideas that I came up with just now so I think if they're actually gonna go ahead and make this a game they could probably think of a few other things too again the base game will be great the campaign, the story, whatever you want to call it, and the online will be even better. Who knows, maybe they could even add an Animal Crossing mode where you get to build your own theme park. Okay, no, that bit was a joke, but... Do you ever wish that Activision would fix online play? If so, what would you do to fix it, make it better? Yeah, I think they need to fix it before they stop support for this game completely. People quitting out of lobbies last second can get quite frustrating when everyone disconnects mid-race or it won't begin because no one's loading in. I don't know what they could do to stop people from leaving. I'd say just lock people into the lobby so they can't leave. Yeah, they could just exit out to the dashboard, but I think it'd reduce the amount of people doing it because no one wants to wait that long just to get back into the game again. And maybe if you leave a certain amount of races, you start to get banned. Just like in Halo, if you leave a couple of times, you get banned. If you do it again after that, you get banned for even longer. I know it's a bit harsh, but I think it'd stop people from leaving. Regardless of what they do, I hope they fix some of the issues that it has. If Nitro Fuel comes to PC, will you get it? If yes, will you beat all the time trials again? Yeah, I'll definitely be getting it. I'm not really looking forward to having to buy everything in the pit stop again because that is a lot of shit that has been added over the past 12 months. But yeah, I 100% get the game because it's going to obviously look better, it's going to run better. As far as the dev trials go, um, some of you might be surprised to hear this, but yeah, I think I would do them again. If not, I would 100% do the Velo time trials again, but I think I would do them, yeah. The difference this time is that I'm actually at a level where I can beat them. Before I started doing the trials, I wasn't good enough to beat them. I improved as I went through them. And I'm not saying I'd be able to do them all first attempt or anything now. Some of them will probably still cause quite a few problems but I'm better at the game now and I'm only going to improve as time goes on so I'd, I'd attempt them again I'd attempt them again did you ever expect that Crash Team Racing would have all the content it has now when it was first announced definitely not I don't think anyone did I was just hoping they'd remake the CNK tracks and bring the CNK characters but definitely did not expect them to add all the other characters and that's just that's just when it comes to the characters the amount of carts and customization they brought to this game I would have never expected it at all do you think you'll continue to play CTR now that you 
you've beaten the developers. Yeah, of course, this is one of my favorite games of all time. I'll be playing this for years to come. Before this game came out, I would revisit Crash Nitro Kart multiple times a year. If I was ever in the mood to play, I'd just plug in the 360 and have a replay through Adventure Mode. I'm sure there's a lot of you guys who had frequent uh, TTR and TNK replays too. With this, it's the same. I'll just hop on when I feel like racing. It's going to be playable on the next gen consoles too, thankfully, so I won't need to keep plugging in my Xbox One to play it. Yeah, I'm going to be playing this for years, man. I'm going to be playing this shit when I'm 50. If they were to make a new Crash game, would you be for an open world, exploring based game with missions? or the classic format of get five crystals, fight a boss, repeat, collect gems and relics to complete the game. Definitely the free roam style, I think. I just love playing the areas and the worlds that you play in. Don't get me wrong, I love the classic style too, but I'm usually more in the mood to play an open world, free roaming kind of game. Usually I get frustrated when playing the Insane Trilogy because, well, first of all, I suck at it. But yeah, I just really like that free roam, take your time, explore kind of game. Favorite trophy girl. I really don't play as the trophy girls that much unless I use the randomized feature. I think it's because of how many people play as them, especially during the first Grand Prix. Mate, lobbies were full of the motorsport skins. But I think I'd have to pick... Megumi. If I'm gonna play as a trophy girl, this is my this is my go-to skin and character. Thoughts on a potential Wrath of Cortex remake? I personally would love it. I'm not really a fan of that game, so I'd rather the next Crash game not be that. I'd still look forward to it though, since it's a new Crash release, and even if it is a remake or remaster, it's still a new Crash game release, and I'll always be excited for that. I'd still complete the game and do a Let's Play on it, but I'd rather the next Crash game be a brand new game or a remake of a game that I actually like. Tag Team Racing remake content. Do you plan on doing a collaboration with any other CTR players slash YouTubers? Yeah, I do want to do some collabs. I want to do a video with the Viparian at some point. I just need some ideas to make that happen. I think it'd be really cool if me and Wolfie did a video. A collab with Canadian guy would be cool too since we do similar videos and I've been watching him since before I even started the channel. Have you ever played the travesty that is Crash Boom Bang? I'm currently in the process of reviewing it so yes I have. It's been tough man. It's been tough. Do you mind microtransactions in CTR? Yeah, I don't mind them at all. Some people don't like it when I say that, but it's just how I feel. You aren't forced to buy them. It's not pay to win because it's just cosmetics. If you wanna buy a skin or a couple carts by paying real money, then go for it. I'm just gonna earn by playing. And because they don't shove it down your throat, it's just an option that's there, I'm good with it. Of course, there's a bigger problem when it comes to microtransactions, but in this game, I think they're fine. That's just how I feel about it. If you were to get stuck in an elevator with one of these three people, who would it be and why? One, William P just staring at you. Two, Ripperoo on LSD. And three, Papu Papu after he ate Mexican food. Right, well, it definitely wouldn't be Papu Papu after eating Mexican food, so we can rule that one out. William P just staring at me would be nightmarish. I think it would be quite unsettling. Ripperoo on LSD, though, that seems pretty entertaining. I mean, he looks like he's on something already. As long as he doesn't blow us up with TNT, I think I'd pick that option. Hi, Lewis. Do you have any Crash memorabilia like plushies, pop vinyls, stuff like them. Cheers. I have a few crash items, pretty much just the stuff that you see on the shelf. I'll get a close-up of everything though, since I guess it's hard to see through the face cam. And of course, I can't forget about the Uka Uka mug. Seeing as Crash only eats Wumpa fruit, do you think he suffers with severe diarrhea? You know, I haven't gave that much thought, to be honest with you. I don't really wonder whether or not Crash has severe diarrhea, but now that you mention it, he probably does. Do you have any ideas for a new cart? Technically, it's not a new cart, but there's still a couple carts in tag team racing that aren't in Nitro Fueled, and I really like them, especially engines. Have you ever raced online against other YouTubers, Twitch streamers that you know of? I've matched with Mr. Bo a few times, and I joined one of his tournaments while he was streaming once. I also found Wolfie in a lobby a few weeks ago on Meteor Gorge, and I won because I hit him with a bomb. You are slightly younger than me, but I was curious about how you got into Crash and what other series you'd love to play. I got into Crash when I was very young. It was one of the first games I ever played. We're talking about four years old, because my dad had the PlayStation 1, he had Crash Bandicoot. So that's how I got into Crash when I was younger and another series that I love to play is Halo. I love Halo just as much as I love Crash. They are my all-time favorites and I got into Halo the exact same way as I got into Crash. When my dad got the original Xbox, I would play Halo Combat Evolved and I loved it. Today I'm doing a free gun glitch on Halo 1. It's still my favorite Halo game to this day. Of course, I'm really looking forward to Halo Infinite this year and if a new Crash game comes out towards the end of this year too, 
I'm gonna explode. Do you think the older Crash Racing games are still worth playing? I'm gonna say yes, even though Nitro Fuel tops them both in my opinion. There's still reasons to play the previous ones too. Everything the original CTR has is in Nitro Fuel, so replaying that would mainly be for nostalgia. And with Nitro Kart, of course the adventure mode isn't in Nitro Fuel, so that's one reason it's worth replaying. Not only that, but the CNK tracks have been heavily changed, so if you want to play the original tracks then it's worth checking out. But I cannot get used to the controls these days. Would you be excited for Crash Bandicoot being playable in Super Smash? Oh yeah, I would. I only just got the game a few weeks ago actually. Yes, I'm a little bit late to Super Smash Bros. Crash would obviously be my new main character. What are your button mappings when it comes to U-turning in CTR? So I have X set to down on the D-pad. I don't use the D-pad because it's just more uncomfortable, but I know it's better to click down. And I swapped Y to X, which would usually be breaking. So that way I can U-turn with a stick. I basically click X and Y and then turn left or right. Previously, I would press X to break down on the stick and I had to be very careful with how much I went left or right. Otherwise the flame will go because you need to be pressing down at all times or it won't work. And when you're pressing down and left or right on the stick, it's very easy to overdo it just a little bit. It works great. I'll put a tutorial on the screen, the one that I followed. Do you think Rilla Roo will make any more appearances in future Crash games? Well, in the mobile game, they brought back Scorporilla of all characters. I know it's not a main series console game, but still. You never know. Maybe they'll do it for the meme. What is your most hated time trial to beat? I think I'm going to have to say... Sly Coliseum. I did find it quite hard, although when I returned to it and used Drift, it was a little bit easier. I wouldn't say it's the hardest one, I just say it's my least enjoyed track to play. I'd rather play a harder track like Deep Sea or maybe Turbo Track, just because I think the track is boring. There's there's not a single turbo pad. It's pretty much just grass cutting and corner cutting, jumping over tires. It just feels very slow. It's very bendy. It's very awkward. But yeah, that is going to be the last question for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry if I missed your question. Again, I'll probably do another one of these at some point in the future. Just put in your comment something like, I didn't make it to the last one, and then I'll pick those questions. But yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Definitely subscribe if you're new here and I'll see you all in my next video.